In this video, we'll learn how to paint an ombre effect onto a wall. This technique has numerous applications. For example, on a bedroom wall, for the headboard of a bed, a freeze or a border strip, or an alcove in a living room. We're going to show you two methods. The first uses five shades of color and copies the shading technique normally found on a work of art. And the second uses three shades of color and will demonstrate how to break the monotony of a white wall. To paint an ombre effect, you will need strips of masking tape, five paint trays, five small paint rollers, four flat paint brushes with a width of 60 or 80 centimeters, and two cans of paint from the same color family, but of different tints. The first step is the same for both methods and entails mixing your paints. Begin with the lightest shade of paint. Put one whole measure in the first tray, three quarters of a measure in the second tray, a half of a measure in the third tray, a quarter measure in the fourth tray. Do the opposite with a darker shade of paint. In the fifth paint tray, put one whole measure of darker paint, then three quarters of a measure in the fourth, then a half a measure in the third, a quarter measure in the second. Then mix the paint in each of your five paint trays. The first technique will show you how to get an even, gradual fade effect between your colors of paint. You can do this technique on the entire surface of a wall or in a defined area, like this. Begin by marking out the desired area on your wall with the help of some masking tape. Here, we'll mark out a rectangle, using a spirit level to ensure that the frame you have marked out is straight. Using a tape measure, make marks along your masking tape to ensure that your bands of paint are of equal width. Next, using one paint roller per shade of paint, make five horizontal strips of paint going from the lightest to darkest in color. Don't worry about being too careful here. While the paint is still wet, dip one of your flat paint brushes simultaneously into two paint trays which correspond to the shades of paint on the wall you wish to blend. Wipe off any excess paint on a piece of card. Then, blend the colors between two adjacent horizontal strips of paint and continue in this way between each strip of paint on your wall. Be sure to change paint brushes for every two colors of paint you blend. The second technique involves blending strips of varying widths of paint. Here we'll make a motif with three vertical bands of paint of different sizes. For example, 40 centimeters, 25 centimeters, 10 centimeters, going from darker to lighter. If you have one, you can also use a laser level to make your markings and to measure the distances between your bands of paint. Put masking tape either side of the area you wish to paint. For the middle bands of paint, place your marking tape to the left of your markings, as shown here. Paint each band, making sure to keep a pattern going from dark to lightest and taking care not to pass over the tape. When the paint is dry, remove the masking tape. Take care not to leave the masking tape on longer than 48 hours to avoid damaging your walls. Clean all your painting tools thoroughly before the paint dries. And there you have it, your ombre effect wall painting is now finished.